<laughs> Tonight is the night. It's final rehearsals. Just want to say I'm excited. I'm grateful. Thankful for you know everybody who's making the things happen. From all the musicians, the media, and also the people working behind the scenes promoting the event, marketing it for us. We do Messi, put tout moon na community a cap. Nam no pan de community kada na andi su board la cap travail cap toujours fait activité pour les gens qui sont là pour les gens toujours na andi abonné na chaque côté na pays hein. Continue, continue, continue. So, guys, I'm excited. I don't know what the rehearsal is looking out, but let's get to it. Oh, I came into this church in. It's been a while. Um, I came in 2012. Let me think. I moved to the state in 2010. It was in October 2010. Yes, indeed. I've been here for over three decades. So I've been here for 19 years. I'm 19, so I've been here for 19 years, going on 20. This is all I know. So. <sighs> As you guys do know, we are here and we're ready to get it started. Welcome. Uh, let me show you guys what we're gonna go through. Basically, we did all the checks the days before. Today is like a final, final run through to make sure that we're just prepared, excited, and ready to bring it for you guys. Guys, we're at the church. As you can hear, we got the band warming up. Uh, we got a couple things set. We have the screen. We have the cameras ready, but. like it was like yesterday when I came to the church. I was 15 years old, um, very close to 16, you can say. And um, ever since, I've been uh, at the church. This church started in 1982. Um, my predecessor, Pastor Sidel, uh, he's the founder and my dad, uh, co-founded the church with him. Um, my dad is Pastor Kasmil Paul. And you could say uh, God had a call upon my life. Uh, maybe at that time I didn't fully understand it. But one thing for sure, even though all my family members, um, you could say most of them are involved in ministry. And I find myself here in Miami. So I thank God for that. Uh, it's a blessing to know that God has called you for such a time as this. Uh, in the midst of uh, chaos, confusion, and uh, the people are going through different cycles of pain, heartache, but God is real. God, God gives us hope. And the fact that you know that God loves you is, is, is a motivation for you to get up every day, to know that he can use a mere human being to make a difference in the life of an individual. So definitely, um, it's been a great um, experience to be part of the North Miami Church of the Nazarene. What do I do at the church? Um, well, right now, I only do prison worship 
and children ministry. I'm in praise and worship. I'm a backup singer. I sing backup in praise and worship. And then I teach in children ministry. I do um, like the regular ch children service. Um, at one point I was doing like a lot. Like I was doing children ministry. I was doing Sunday school teaching in both of those. I was doing praise and worship. I was doing, I think media at one point. Um, <laughs> So, you know, and then, you know, life kind of happened. I started going to school and work. And so I kind of cut down to just praise and worship as a backup and children ministry, teaching and children ministry. So that's what you find me doing these days. So this is the day before the event. Uh, the pressure is on. We getting ready, testing out everything. Make sure our cameras are all right. And, you know, all the musicians are setting up the equipment. We just want to make sure we have a great um, event that that goes fluidly and you know, everything goes well. Stay tuned. Let's check out what they have going on. Woo! Woo! We have Nella up below. We have Angie on the flag. Woo! Nella, what are you creating? Just give us a quick, quick idea. Are you creating like a, the wall? Yes, I'm creating like. Okay, there we go. And then, which one are you working on? Um, I'm just, you know, getting the sticks and putting it in the hole, the flags. Yeah, so and when that 31st it. comes, we're gonna be waving it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been living right by the church since I was born. So the church was always by, by me. So, I, like my mom was at a different church. So I was always with my mom, but my dad was at this church for a long time. So I had a drum with my dad. So that makes sense. I'm here. Uh, back then at home, I used to play, but not, you know, I started pretty, pretty young. You know, I started pretty young. Uh, at first, I, well, I wanted to play piano, to be honest with you. Uh, but then when I moved here and I found like black like musicians, so the drums was actually the, the, uh, the open instrument. So one day I was just, you know, I was back there because I was just, I was just home, you know how they say that, just home. So I was back there and I, I think my instrument recorder saw me looking at the stage. And I will never forget that. My instrument recorder just came around and asked me, yo, do you play? And I said, yeah, I play. And he said, well, come on, man. They, man, there's nobody on the drum, come, come, come play. And since that day, I, I can tell you, it was like 2010. Now we are about to be in 2022. So I've been at the church for like almost 12 years. Jesus, I'm old. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how it started. And since then, man, since, since that day, I've been coming here, playing drums for multiple services, and I love it. That's home, so yeah, that's, 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 that's my story. That's my story. Come on, this one? Let me see. Which mic is that? Um, this is the wireless. Mic. No. Hello, China. hello, 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 hello. Just set it up, man. Everybody's stressed out. Everybody's um, the pressure is on, so you know. Just gotta make sure we deliver. We're gonna deliver. We got faith in God. We're working in excellence. And you know, just gonna make sure that, you know. Everything goes well. As far as like the team, I feel like we are ready. It just, you know, we just gotta sell a few more things. And we'll set up a little more equipment and stuff like that. And we'll be set. Uh, oof. As you guys, you know, everything good starts at a perfect time and everything ends at a perfect time. Right now, just getting uh, final equipment just to close out the show, close out the night, and be ready with more energy for the next day. Um, when I first started uh, in ministry, I used to play the keyboard. So um, most people are realistically they know me as um, Brother B. Because I spent most of my lifetime as Brother B, the keyboard player. And, and I was happy to play. I, I still like to play whenever I have um, a chance to do that. 
Uh, by nature, I, li I like to be involved in worship. So you might uh, see sometimes I sing. Uh, um, it, it keeps me in the presence of God. Whether I do that uh, personally at home or whether it's in a church service, I, I love the presence of God. Um, I look forward to be in the house of God. Um, I, I tell my, uh, my team members, I have two favorite days. Uh, Wednesday is my first favorite day because I say Wednesday, no matter what happens in life, Wednesday is going to be great. Then Sunday, you know, that's when I get real excited. Um, you never know what, you, what you're going to get at a church service. But if you come expecting and you bring yourself uh, your whole heart because that's what God is looking for he's looking at your heart um, and when you come into the sanctuary you come expecting while you say I bring something to God I bring something uh, um, to this atmosphere and by doing that um, the Lord will meet you the Holy Spirit will meet you at that point and you'll be amazed of how God can speak to you in a moment so uh, worship is is a way of keeping me connected to God um, and the service and also it's a way of connecting me also to the people because you don't, you, you don't do ministry just for yourself you you minister to people and the Holy Spirit can use it to do that uh future with the church with the church right yeah future I mean I'm here I'm here that's my home so I want to progress do better learn from all the musicians get better and grow with the church of course of course if I put this down, it won't do nothing. If I put like this, you still won't hear nothing. But you have I can leave it on. I can leave it on. Um, well, the thing about Sunday services, preparation starts like the Sunday before. Like you all, you have to prepare. Like this, it's not something that you prepare for the same day. You know. Um, well, pers but personally, me, like from the moment I wake up, I usually like to listen to like you know, like gospel music. Just kind of get my mind and my and my uh, um, heart ready, especially because I know when I come here, I'm gonna have to deal with certain people, you know. So I have to kind of just, you know, prepare my mind for that. I kind of like be able to, because being in prison worship, you kind of you learn to tune out certain things, you know. And sometimes you, you're gonna come, people are gonna complain like people are late and service not starting on time, or um, it's too much going on, or soundtrack's not going right, or something's too loud. So you kind of just so that helps me like just tune all of that out remember why I'm doing it who I'm doing it for you know not for cameras not for action not for views at the end of the day because we could use all that we could lose all that tomorrow you know and so and still have the um the you know responsibility of the people in our hands so that's what I do I usually like to listen to some music pray um kind of be like what's the word I'm looking for kind of be like to myself but present so like in my mind I'm like focusing on what I'm about to do and how I do it but I'm still available to everything else because you do have certain responsibilities and, you know like make sure I'm coming on time making sure I'm getting you know packs and body I mean not bodies uh, packs and mics ready and stuff like that and making sure like people are coming and whoever's on schedule and stuff like that so yeah that's just a couple of things I do to prepare for Sunday morning Guys, it's day one. We're ready to get it started. Woo. Guys, so this is your rule for tonight. Just remember, stay in your P's and Q's. We're gonna do a great job. Uh, I want your excellence. Whenever you, whenever you do, just know you're doing it for the Lord. And let's have fun tonight and put on a great show for everybody. Uh, let's go, let's go. Teamwork on three. One, two, three. Team one. Amen. À soi à nous espérer que bon Dieu va le faire grâce. Ou même qui ont problème, ou même qui a tristé, viennent défouler ou viennent chercher grâce, mon Dieu. Il est capable, il capable de résoudre problème, il est capable de porter fort d'eau, il fait confiance et agit fort. Que bon Dieu bénisse.
marche, ça c'est bon. Jésus, avec ma marche, pas de mois janvier. Jésus, avec ma marche, pas de février. Jésus, avec ma marche, pas de mois de passe là. Jésus, avec ma marche, pas de mois de fête peuple. Jésus, avec ma marche, pas de vacances là. Jésus, avec ma marche, pas de ma blouée. Jésus, avec ma marche, là y'a plus de son de moi. Who inspired me to be a musician was watching YouTube videos. And my favorite bass player was Victor Rutten, which inspired me to be a bass player. But I started playing drums when I was a kid, so my inspirations were the famous gospel drummer Calvin Rogers that played for like many artists. So he was my motivation when I was playing drums. But when I started playing bass, my favorite bass player was Victor Wooten, Richard Brona. And then when I was able to transition to playing bass, Pass P took me under his wing to be the person I am now. But I like to be in the background. I will work as hard as I need to just so that the Lord is pleased with what he receives on a Sunday morning. Um, I do believe that uh, worship or the worship part of the service is the first message that the people receives. Uh, when they come, uh, whoever is ministering and worship, you get to speak to their hearts and soul. Uh, and so I think it's something you, you, can, you cannot take lightly. So I love I love worship. I've I've um, been involved in that um, even now. Still, as I serve um, in my current role, I still get involved in worship because I believe it's uh, it's important. Um, I think also uh, when 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 the pastor understands the value of worship, then the church is likely to invest in whatever is necessary to enhance the the, the experience that the people have as well. Uh, so I served for a while as music director, um, uh, youth president, youth vice president, uh, youth pastor. Uh, what else? Uh, I guess there they are so many um, administrator. So you know, it's been a. Uh, you could say if if anything in church, I've done it. You know, I I drive the bus for a while, well for a long while. Um, uh, if some if I see something needs to be done, I'm not gonna wait for someone to come and tell me to do it. I just have I just believe that you have to keep working. The, uh, as you work, what God does is he 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 elevates you over time, and uh, um, for many people. Uh, this get a bit uh, um, tireless uh, and they get anxious because God's timing is not our own timing and so yeah so you could say I've been in this church here for about close to yeah 30 years and I've been involved in ministry just about 30 years here I'm thinking your role what has been the most challenging part of those roles can give examples, you can pick one, or they want to say the easiest. I think any wall that you don't have to make final decisions in tends to be great. And so, and so for a long time, I enjoyed the fact that I didn't have to be the person who has to, who has the final say so. Um, what I did learn along the way is that what I do um, can first impact the 
reputation of the church, uh, the reputation of my senior pastor, um, you could say my family and all those who believe in me. So therefore, I always have to be mindful that my actions uh, may have uh, great impact on uh, where the church goes or, or how the church moves. So I'm always aware of that. Um, but I'm going to say being a senior pastor has been uh, very challenging. Um, uh, there, there are challenges that come you never expect. And you still have to, uh, sometimes you have to make a decision. Sometimes you have to uh, counsel people. Um, so those decisions are not always easy to make. But what I learned also is that I didn't call myself into ministry. Um, God called me. And because God called me, um, he gives me one avenue to um, stay in touch with him. And that's prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer is, is to me my lifeline. Um, I, I pray all the time. I pray day and night. And I believe when I pray, God gives me the... He gives me the answer for whatever I need to know, whatever I need to do at the moment. He, he leads me in such a way that uh, my decision, I can feel comfortable uh, with it at the end of the day, even when I don't know. Uh, what the outcome will be necessarily, but yeah, being the senior pastor, yeah, because people come to you all the time uh, to make decisions. So, and that they're trusting your judgment, and that's an interesting thing. When people trust you, uh, they have the idea that you are the man of God. So, um, imagine that they believe that you have a connection to God, and yet uh, sometimes you even doubt. You know, is God really? Is God really here? Is God really talking to me? Or am I just doing things, events? Am I just doing my own thing? Or is God leading me? Is the Holy Spirit, you know, teaching me what to do in the process? And at the end of the day, I, I come to realize this. If your heart is pure, if if your heart is is genuinely open to God, and, and you, you're constantly seeking Him, uh, maybe the answers are not coming to you at the pace that you would like. But certainly, even when you make a mistake, God has a way of changing that mistake into something positive. So uh, when, when the verse says, um, uh, all things work out for the good of those who love and trust the Lord. So I think as in the process, um, as a senior pastor, um, you, you're not just, you, you don't just play a role. You actually, you are a, a regular individual that has that ha, that has to trust God just like your church members. So they are trying. God will test your own faith so that your message is not coming from a theoretical uh, standpoint. But you have experienced uh, um, some of the toughest uh, situations in life, so so that you become so convinced that God is real. God is is alive. God is right here. Uh, um, now, when you know that, uh, it makes you lead uh, in a different way. It helps you to understand other people. So, um, I think the senior pastor role has been the toughest one. But then each role, each role has its challenges. Uh, and and uh, remember, you, you're serving people. Someone is always going to remind you uh, when you're not where you need to be. So. And, and, and you learn to be humble at the end of the day. Two things will happen. Either you love people or you hate people. Um, but but in, in my case, I'm going to say God has been gracious to me. He helps me to love people more each and every day. And as I go to my own struggles, then I also understand what people go through. Um, you could say I share my life with the people and they share their lives with me. Uh, when they're going to... Um, let's say sickness in the family. People have to be in the, at the hospital. So I get to share some of the most uh, intimate family time. I get to be a part of that. And that's special. Um, just to be there to, to, to give encouragement and comfort. Um, and so, yeah, uh, ministry is challenging by nature. But you just have to trust that. The difference between Sunday service and the weekend. Man, so, okay, so being for, like from a praise and worship point of view, 
from being a backup singer in praise and worship from that point of view, it's very different. Um, on a Sunday morning, you're probably singing like six, if that, which is like a stretch. Probably just singing a good five, six songs, you know, in a one Sunday, you know, Sunday morning service. And we're talking a weekend, we're talking like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday morning, Sunday night. Let's say that's six sets. I mean, six um, songs for each day. That's 24 songs alone. And then say if we have multiple, you know, dirija or like multiple leaders, if, say if like there's two leaders for each day, that's two leaders each day, right? That's four services. That's eight leaders. It's like 48 songs. So the difference between the weekend, um, like the weekends and Sunday morning also come in with preparation. For Sunday mornings, we usually rehearse after, uh, Sunday afternoon and we're good. For those weekends where we're rehearsing during the week, we're rehearsing late at night, we're leaving here sometimes 11, 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the morning rehearsing. Um, we're have to, we have to figure out what we're gonna wear. We have to do that also for Sunday, for Sunday um, you know, morning, but it's just one outfit for each Sunday. Whereas for the weekends, um, with rehearsals, with like, you know, mentally preparing yourself, everyone coming on time, like there's a lot of factors that play and then there's setup, there's the production side of it. Um, so they're very, very, very different um, in the sense of preparation and the time that you have to dedicate to them. Because for a weekend you're dedicating at least two, three weeks, even for like a month in advance. Whereas for Sunday morning you're dedicating one Sunday afternoon from two to four, you know, and you know, that's, that's, that's Sunday morning. But for those weekends, it's something completely different because there's a lot of people that, it, that um, it's a lot of factors that play in, you know. It's not only where Sunday mornings, like I know singers have to come and we're good. For those weekends, we have to make sure everything sounds right with the musicians, everything is good with media, how it looks on the thing, and, you know. So it's, it's, it's not, not so much to say a production in the sense of like a, like a movie or something, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot more because we're doing something consecutive for more than one day, you know. So yeah, that's... Those weekends. Man. Uh, uh by, oh, by, oh, to, by, I don't know if I switch, if I should switch languages because language is a pattern, language is a pattern, crazy thing is when I moved here, uh, I don't know if I should switch languages because language is a pattern, so now Creole is a pattern, I don't know if I should switch languages. So all this happened at the church, so I'm just happy to be here, man. Uh, what, what's, what's in the future? I don't know, but I pray God that I got some, some kids uh soon uh married now married now for like a year now love it uh that's about it what else about me uh nothing much really my mom come to the church my whole family actually my whole family my grandma uh my grandpa my, my mr christian used to come at this church so that's when uh that's how i get to um uh, start coming here uh, and the rest history all right, that's it. Man, we just finished a rehearsal. Yeah. Is this rehearsal for uh, um, for Kensley? So like, I gotta practice a couple more songs. And then, um, this is gonna be exciting, man, but it's a lot of work. We gotta learn 30 songs for the um, for Kensley and for Masha Abbey, for Evil D. It's, it's never easy, but you just gotta put the work in, you know? So, I'm excited. I'm excited for the, the event, you know? It's all about work, man. So, then the worst part about this, I gotta be one, I gotta be the one to close the church. So, I gotta make sure that there's a lot. Last bit of the event. Uh, tonight is the night for the concert. Everything is moving at a hundred miles per hour. I'll say a thousand miles per hour right now. Everybody's on edge, but we're just excited for a great event. I know God is gonna be in, in the midst of it. So we're just excited for you guys to have a great time, to enjoy. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we just wanna do this for God because God's been good to us this whole year. 2021 was a, a troublesome year for a lot of us, but in 2022, coming in this year with new, a new mindset and new priorities, 
and we believe God has been has done some great things for us. So we just want to celebrate His name and you know give all the best to Him. So stay tuned. You know all this hard work we're doing, we're doing it for you because we love you and we want to share the word of God to all who everyone want the world. So please give us a share, like, and comments. Stay blessed. So you gotta check him out. They rehearsing right now, so this is behind the scenes, and you know everything is going well. The man, the man of the hour is here. How you doing, man? The man of the hour. So when you gonna? He was born ready. <laughs> So à peine fini là, ce qu'on a fini répété, pareil pour nos bita, est-ce qu'on pareil? Ce qu'on a une machine mobile pour là, je sais aller puis, à le préparer pour mina d'or avec nos bita. Qui ça attend? Dégagez nos fini fin bonnet, parce que c'est pas ça fou la craquer. Pas qu'un blague dans cette pas le fait à ce là. So louange pour l'Éternel, gloire pour l'Éternel, exaltation pour l'Éternel. Ce pas fini, ce pas béni, c'est pas moi même. Good evening everybody, tonight is the night that you guys have been waiting for, we had two nights already, tonight is the night of the concert, so let's let's wait and see who shows up. Attention, 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 du fait de Nazaréen, du fait, du fait, du fait, du fait de Milvendia de Nazaréen, gardons l'église mes amis, c'est bon Dieu fait de vie marcher l'église ça. Aïe, 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 mes amis. Sou pa ko vin nan Nazare yon pa ko jam kon sa bon non mes amis gardon l'église kote moun ki pasteur You got you got you got options to take pictures you got a whole backdrop We're also waiting for people to come through come through come through it's gonna be lit it's gonna be on fire You are looking on point are you excited about tonight's event I am Can you say hello to everybody Hello everybody hi you welcome thank you like always How long have you guys been practicing for this event Oh over two weeks oh so you guys are gonna show out tonight huh yes okay we're ready we, we are excited yes. so she is one of the main people that have been rehearsing you will see her on stage and like i said tune in it's gonna be live you don't want to miss this hello people hello hello guys you excited about tonight i'm ready i'm ready you are ready about tonight i'm ready how long have you guys been, how long have you guys been practicing like two three weeks Oh, we got the wireless. Okay. See, they are ready for you guys. We are up and live. We are starting. We have the main person we have been waiting for. Uncle B, you're looking on point. You're looking handsome. Are you ready for tonight? Yes, yes. I'm ready. I can't wait. Donc on est à soirée ça, son soirée exceptionnelle liée. Nous voulons dire heureuse année à tout le monde qui branché à soirée pour qu'on puisse participer dans l'événement ça. Thank you, thank you. You are welcome, my pleasure. Année de paix, année de paix, c'est année 2022. Bonjour, bienvenue. This year's theme is the year of peace. Peace be with you. Turn up. Yes, Jésus mérite tout le monde dans la vie.
Mission, mission accomplie. Ouais, pas de facile du tout, mais pas de facile du tout. Man. Arrangement, quatre services, man. Tu veux tout à l'heure, man. Moi, habitué à ça, man. Et pas première fois, non, fait. Fait plusieurs, plusieurs, plusieurs fois, man. Dis bon Dieu merci. Dis bonne opportunité, à dis bonne souffle. Bonne santé que fait nous toujours faire. Nous content faire. Nous avons un problème fait ça. Nous fait ça longtemps. So, l'autre année, décembre, en décembre, on pas dit 2023, décembre et janvier encore. Merci, merci, média, bon travail, Mike, bon travail. Et vous prenez ma main, mais caméra, ça. <laughs> All right, is it? <laughs> Oh, you're back, I'm looking.